Hey, this is Matt Reisinger at the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I want to talk to you today about air sealing. Um, I've done a lot of videos on various methods for air sealing, but I've become more and more convinced that I really, as a, a company, need to ratchet my standard down similarly, but not quite to as far as the passive house standards, um, which is a German standard for air tightness. My company goal is to take us down to about one ACH 50. Um, code for here in Texas currently is five ACH 50 um, with the new uh, inter international energy codes. So we're, we're taking this quite a bit further than where code requires. And in the past, I've utilized the various uh, uh, resources or various methods for air sealing, but most of that has been interior to the house. Spray foam, caulk, Owens Corning Energy Complete, Knopf Eco Seal, those types of systems that are sealing on the inside. I think kind of the next frontier for air, for air barriers for me and my house is, is gonna be taping the, the exterior seams. We've been doing this cavity wall system at the base of our houses for a long time to really seal up, uh, mainly for waterproofing, but also for air barriers where our foundation meets our bottom plate. But uh, the seams on our uh, exterior sheathing we're taping on this house with a product I've not used before. I learned about this through uh, Green Building Advisor and uh, Martin Holliday's article in Fine Home Building. This is a, uh, a Swedish brand tape called Siga, and this is Wiglove, W-I-G-L-U-V. It comes in two and a quarter rolls, and this is a fairly expensive tape, but it needs to be to be able to stick to both plywood and OSB. And so I wanted to do a quick test over here. I stuck these on yesterday. One of them I stuck on without primer, and then one we used primer on. Uh, Sega makes a primer specifically for their product uh, called Doc Skin, D-O-C-K-S-K-I-N. It's a water-based primer. And in general, I like primers whenever we're trying to stick something onto plywood or concrete. But I thought I'd show you by peeling these off. We're in the garage here, so I'm not super worried about air sealing into the garage. Uh, we're not in conditioned space. This section right here, I did not use any primer on this. Look at that. It really is stuck well to that OSB and plywood. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. That's really hard to get off. That's pretty amazing. Now over here we used primer, and I'll bet it's even, oh my gosh, look at that, even better. Wow, that is really stuck on there. We decided to go ahead and primer the whole house before we put it on, uh, just because that should be best practice. And uh, and man, that is that is incredible. That is great tape. There are things in life that you get what you pay for, and I would tell you that this is one of them right here. That is incredible. So hard to get off. I think that's really going to be a long-lasting, durable solution to air sealing in my houses. And I'll catch up with you on a future video on how we did this whole house. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.